It was a long time since the last video, but finally I'm here. Today I'm going to show you the new version 1.5, and so let's go. Uh, just one note, with this version you shouldn't need any more the virtual machine. This version should run, let's say, most of the plugins available. So let's go. First of all, to get it, subscribe to my YouTube channel and send me an email to crossgridder at uh, gmail.com. Once you have it, you can download crossover trial from the Codeweaver page and you can enter your name, your email and download the trial now. As you can see, we have version 23. I suggest you to not use it because I saw that few plugins uh, doesn't render the UI. You will get a black uh, user interface. So we skip this uh, also because we don't really need it. Uh, version 22 works uh, perfectly. Instead, we go there, right click, we copy the link address, we paste it in our search bar, and we change the version. In this case, we need 22.1.1. Enter. Amazing. So, save. And once it's done, we can unzip it and put it in our application folder. Okay, it's done. We unzip it. It's not going to take long. In my case, I already have it, so I just cancel it. I can put this to the trash and empty the trash. Now we need the Audio Grider plugin for macOS. We go to audiogrider.com download. We go to the macOS plugin. So there are a few choices. If you are on the Intel chip, you can download Audio Grider plugin 1.2.0 underscore 1. If you are on the Mac ARM processor, just download the universal binary because the native one was reported to not work. Okay, in my case, I'm just downloading this version. Here it is. We launch it, we right click and open because if not, uh, it will complain that uh, the developer is unknown. So we open, continue, continue, agree. We can customize. In my case, I'm using Logic, so I don't need all of these. Leave the plugin tray because it's going to give you information like the latency and such. And we install. I already have it, so I just close it. I can trash this. And usually you have to log out and log in again. So to be sure that uh, the system knows that you have installed the plugin and your DAW will pick it the first time you open it. Okay, cool. Next step, we open crossover. We go to the menu, battle, import battle archive. We choose cross grider and we restore it. Create. You can also change the name if you want, if you prefer. Now I'm leaving it like this and just wait until the process is over. It might take a while. So don't panic. Okay. Here we have the audio grider server and we can install a couple of plugins. In this case, I'm going to install these two plugins from Variety of Sound. And for now, we just install the VST2. VST3 can have problems and the server while scanning will freeze and is not able to complete uh, the scanning. So if you ever see such a problem, 
after you install the plugins just go to the drive open c drive and you uninstall it but for now uh, just install the vst manually in this case i already prepared for you the path which is program files steinberg vst plugins and we're going to copy this in here we paste it copy and we paste it okay now let's run the audio grider server for the first time it's uh, scanning the plugins sometimes this can happen uh, so what we do is just we quit it doesn't quit so we quit all application we can force quit it's gone and we can run it again one thing you can do is drag it here so you have it always at your hand in the dock let's see if this time we are lucky I guess so we open the plugins here they are okay before we open the door and connect uh, the server to the plugin I just want to show you the settings of the server ah, one thing very important if you click on it and you don't move the mouse down it will like flicker it will open and close immediately so click and move down the mouse really fast and we open the settings okay so basically all the settings are ready to go one thing you can do is keep plugin windows on top you see I clicked on it and nothing changed I guess this is a bug with crossover so just save because in reality um, the setting was picked so we save the server is restarting we open again plugins no sorry settings and here you can see the same happens if you try to type something in here nothing changed we save and we close and we open again the settings you see we can delete this it will seem that it's not deleting but I keep press uh, the delete button enough I guess we save settings you see disappeared cool uh, the sandbox mode I leave it disabled because I saw that uh, it's not working and I don't know how it can be useful to us okay let's go on we open our door we add a new track let's say a new instrument track and we can add the audio grider plugin for the instrument but in this case I don't have any instrument so we just load another audio unit and well let me tweak it a bit so it's going to be a bit better the sound when we try it nothing special but just a bit and we can load the audio grider plugin you may have it in recent as I have but uh, it's uh, in there under E47 E47 is uh, audio grider developer which is Andreas Paul. I'm not developing this, I just created the bottle. He's a very cool guy and he has no problem 
if you do these kind of things. Uh, his project uh, is open, anyone can contribute, modify, uh, and so on. So we added the stir version. In this case, it uh, connects directly to my IP, the IP of my Mac, but I want to add the localhost IP, which is 127.0.0.1 and we add it. Okay, now we click on the plus button and we open the VST. We load it. Usually you may have the generic uh, turned on the first time you install it. So you will see it like this there will be no user interface for the VST. So you just press there and turn it off. Another cool thing that you might want to do is to change the buffer size. The first time you install the plugin is disabled, but uh, the CPU will be very high. So just put it to two blocks uh, and it will not affect the, the latency very much. Okay, cool. Now we don't see the plugin. We go to the dock and we press here. And as you can see, we have it. Okay, we can just uh, change something else. We can turn off the diagnostics um, because if we don't have a reproducible issue, it's not really needed. Cool, let's see if it's working. Let me play a few notes. Yes. You see that the dynamics are changing. We can also add another VST, the DLA from variety of sound, nasty DLA. Cool, it's working, that's it. We have it uh, working and enjoy.